When creating linear dimensions, there are three different methods you can use to force the dimensions to be either horizontal or vertical. During my class and in the handout, I showed how to use object snap tracking to accomplish this. As one student pointed out, you can also turn on ortho mode prior to selecting endpoints, thus forcing the resulting dimension to be either horizontal or vertical. However, at the end of the class, another student pointed out an even more elegant way to accomplish this. When the object you're dimensioning is not horizontal or vertical, or the two extension line origin points are not on the same horizontal or vertical line, press the shift key to force the dimension line to be horizontal or vertical. For example, after dimensioning the length of the upper line, to dimension the horizontal length of the angled line, you simply click to select the angled line. Initially, the dimension aligns with the angled line, but when you press the shift key and then move the cursor, the dimension changes to a horizontal or vertical dimension, depending on where you move the cursor. It is then a simple matter to place the dimension so that it lines up with the other horizontal dimension. By using this technique, you can quickly dimension the object without ever having to leave the new dim command. I hope you find this to be a useful method for quickly adding dimensions to your AutoCAD drawings.